Hello everyone, so welcome back to the new lab session of Microsoft Excel. So in our previous video, we have seen that how to convert a cell in a drop down format. That means I have converted this cell in a drop down format, isn't it? I take all the names that is appearing here in this cell and now it is appearing like drop down list. Now we'll see one example that how this drop down list will be uh, useful for you so suppose if i take this example here i have a number of students and these are their respective registration number now what i want i want this cell should have all the student names and if I select any of the students from this drop down list, I should get the registration number here. Okay. So this uh, goal can be achieved by one more function that will we see that we will see now. So before it, let me fill this cell with these names. Okay. So what I do, I just select this cell go to data then go to data validation select it list and this is the range I have to select so this is the range I have selected press enter now click OK and you see all the names are coming ok now what I want if I select any of the names from this drop down I should get the registration number here okay so for that we will learn a new function that is known as VLOOKUP okay so what is the use of VLOOKUP let's see so how to use it simply write equal to VLOOKUP now VLOOKUP first takes lookup value means what do you want to look up so I want to look up the names from this cell okay then put a comma then it asks for the table array that means what is the reason so this is the reason you have to select okay now put a comma then it asks column index number that means what do you want to display that means which column index you want so this is the first column index this is the second column index okay of your selected table so I have to take the second column index then put a comma then you want the exact value that means if I select Rudra so Rudra registration number should come so for that we have to write false for exact match so I can write here false now press enter so see now if I select any other name let's say Nitesh it is coming 2830 Nitesh 2830 if I select Punyam it is 2882 2882 so you see how flexible your Excel is you can do many things in Excel and it provides it providing a lot of feature to you so this is one example we have seen we'll explore more example and feature in upcoming videos so try to practice it and if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you very much